First, I'm gonna show you how I bake bread. So it's a Saturday morning in beautiful Northern Everett, uh, which is about 30 miles north of Seattle. So I've got everything set up here. First thing we need is one cup of warm water. Some people use a thermometer, but I've done this so many times that I know what the right temperature is by touch. So there's a cup of water. Next thing is a half a teaspoon of yeast. Got my spoon right here. Okay, that goes in there. Then this is dough conditioner. So this will make the bread light, lighter and fluffier and last longer. And so it has enzymes and, and uh, other good stuff in it. So I'm gonna have to put three tablespoons of that in there. Now this is a recipe that I developed from another recipe where uh, after much experimentation, I, I figured out what was the right balance of everything for me. So the next step is we do the oil before the sugar, right? Because the oil will help the sugar come off faster. So we're gonna do three tablespoons, and this is premium sesame oil, which gives a nice nutty roasted flavor. Okay, that's three tablespoons of that. And then three tablespoons, so it's easy to remember everything, right? Three tablespoons is some blue agave. So one, two, and three. Okay, so that's everything for a little bit of slurry. I like to mix it around a little bit. The next thing is, is this is Alice. This is my sourdough starter. So Alice is about three years old, and it's actually Alice 3. So uh, we won't talk about Alice 1 and 2, but suffice it to say, uh, this is perishable, and you want to make sure it's fed and uh, kept properly. So, so we'll give it a, a nice mix. So I pulled this out Thursday after work. I fed it then, and then Friday I fed it twice. First when I got up in the morning, and then after work again. So about 12 hours apart or so. A little break with our sponsor, Skillable. Okay, so we need about two and a half cups of this starter. And you wanna put water on your cup. This will make the uh, starter come off your measuring cup much easier. There's one. And bread making, a lot of people treat it like it's science. And well, you know, of course it is, but you don't have to be precise in measurements and weights and all of that with this type of baking, at least. A lot of this I improvise, just depending upon the uh, consistency or viscosity of my sourdough starter. So that's about two and a half cups. Okay. Let's go over here and put this on our mixer. Okay, and I'm going to set the timer for nine minutes. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab the bread flour. I like to use King Arthur bread flour. So it has two tops. Put the first one on. That, and we're gonna go ahead and start the timer. Nine minutes. And I'm gonna put four half cups, so two cups. One, two, Three, four. Okay, that's roughly halfway through. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt. Okay, and then I'm gonna add at least four more half cups. So at least two more cups. It's probably gonna be another one after that. We'll see. That's two, three, and four. 
Now I can tell by the consistency that uh, this is getting pretty close. So you can let it run for a little bit, see how it settles, and then adjust from there. Okay, so I like to use ghee. It imparts a really nice flavor, almost like it toasts the crust. So, and I've got uh, cast iron bread pans. I found that I like these the best. I used glass before, but cast iron really does the trick. Okay, and then spread it in the pan. All right, that's done. So we've got just a couple more minutes. Let's check this. Okay, so yeah, it's looking like it needs just a little bit more. So I'll add a little bit more. And it's still got five minutes to go, so that's good. And you can see how it's picking up off the sides of the bowl there. That's really good. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna to have to add just a little bit more, but I'm gonna give it another couple of minutes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna grab some sesame seeds. Uh, looks like we need to go get some more pretty soon. Our loaves are going to have to proof for about four to five hours, so I'm going to set the stove up to do that. It's nice that our oven has a proofing option. So that's ready to go, and now we'll come back over here. Okay, we're back over here, and we're just about done. A minute to go. I'm going to add three tablespoons of sesame seeds. So everything you've noticed is three tablespoons. Makes it really easy to remember. All right, so that's just got another minute to go. Looking really good. So we'll move this over here and get our space ready. This is my favorite part. It all comes together. Ta-da. So we'll come over here. And dump this stuff off of here. Don't wanna miss any here. And now we're going to plop this out onto our floured surface. Just needs a little bit of coaxing. Okay. Now you may be questioning why is that sticking through the plastic that's because this has three tablespoons of sugar in it <laughs> okay the interesting thing about the sesame oil and the sesame seeds and honey is it doesn't really have a pronounced flavor it's more of a background sort of a warm flavor a little bit nutty a little bit sweet so I'm just going to need this just a little bit more until we have something like that. And then we're going to cut this in half. Some people like to weigh to make sure they got the same size, but not me. The last time I weighed something, I was off by an ounce or less or not much. Okay, and then we'll shape. We want a little bit of surface tension there. That's why I fold and tuck like this. 
flower on my hands. That's one. That goes in the pan there. And the next one. A little surface tension. I like this technique, folding under each time. These and voila. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a little towel and we're gonna put these in the oven where I've got it set on proof. Separate it a little bit in case they rise. We don't want them to touch each other. Tea towel over top. Close that up and now we're going to give it about four to five hours. Okay, it's been about four and a half hours and it's time to pull these out of the oven and preheat it. There's one and two. And let's set the oven to convection bake to 410 degrees. Start, set the timer for 21 minutes, and then we'll wait for the oven to heat up and that's when they'll go in. Okay, so it's been uh, about five, 10 minutes or so and uh, the oven beeped, so it's ready. I'm just gonna give these a quick spray of water. <laughs> All right, give the door a good spray so we have some steam that will make it nice and crusty. Crusty is good. All right, 21 minutes and then we're gonna turn it and do another 11 minutes. Okay, it's been 21 minutes, time to turn these. 45 degrees. Looking good, and I'm gonna give them a little, little steam. And I've set this for 11 minutes, so we'll start that. In 11 minutes, they'll be done. Okay, it has been 11 minutes and time to pull them out. There we go. Turn that off. Thing of beauty. <laughs> All right, and we'll let those cool off for a few hours and then have a slice. All right, so it's been a few hours and now it's time to have a little taste test. One for me, and one for the cameraman. Some nice Irish butter. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You see lots of nice air bubbles. Mm. And this is bread where you want it, the heels. So my friends, that's how I make my bread. <laughs>